I recorded a short clip of Tesla full self-driving. So we're pulling out of the street and the stop sign. Uh, we're pulling into this larger street. And what we need to do immediately is make a U-turn. So uh, the car went um, across the lanes. It needs to make a U-turn here in the street. Notice that the light for cars going straight is, uh, is green, now turning red. It's waiting for the turn light uh, to go green. Only when the turn light goes green uh, that it's there, uh, moves, and uh, now makes the U-turn. Uh, obviously, I'm not touching the pedals or the steering wheel um, at all at this point. Um, the car's doing um, all the driving. It's gonna stop here at this red light. Now, you may be wondering, um, how does it know where to go? Well, you notice on the screen that I do have a destination uh, put in, so it will follow the GPS so it knows where to go. And then the car has a series of cameras that um, will determine how to drive. So you've probably heard of Waymo, which does this uh, LiDAR radar system and, and lasers. This does not use any of that technology. It's, it's pure vision, meaning it only uses cameras and it's able to look around, um, know what's on the road um, and drive, uh, drive itself. On the screen there, you see the visualization uh, that it, um, that it uh, shows you what, what the car is, uh, is seeing around you. So we're driving uh, down this road here. We're gonna come to another red light. So obviously it's, it's going to stop for, uh, for the red light. Pretty smooth. And we have a um, delayed green here. So the cars ahead of us uh, have a green light. So they're going, uh, we still have a red and the car uh, recognizes that and only uh, moves forward once it has a green light. There we go. Now we're coming to a, um, a large intersection here and um, it, it's pretty interesting because the lane that we are on um, is going to turn into a left turn lane, but we need to go straight. So, um, and the, the car knows that because of the GPS, uh, it knows it has to go straight. Um, but if it just continues, it will be in the left turn lane. So it needs to figure out that it needs to move to the correct lane in order to go straight. And so it'll actually read the signs on the road. You'll see that it recognizes uh, that there's a left turn lane, goes into the center lane, and then proceed straight through the intersection. Again, I'm not, I'm not actually using the pedals. You can't see my feet, but I'm not using the pedals at all. The car is uh, completely driving itself. I'm gonna skip ahead here for a bit. I see the car coming, making a left turn across. I'm gonna cross my view. Uh, we slow down, ensure it's safe for him to pass. Um, if he would uh, just jut out, it would uh, it would slow down even more, but it could uh, go by safely. Now notice this car ahead of us. It's going to want to make a left turn, um, which will be interesting to uh, see how our car uh, reacts to that. So here we go. Uh, it turns on its signal, wants to make a left turn and stops, needs to wait for oncoming traffic. Now there is a shoulder here and our car decides to go around but then waits, decide, well, let's see how much traffic there is here. Um, and it's waiting um, and it realizes that oh, there's a lot of traffic. It decides to go around. Um, right when the other car uh, goes forward. So it does look out and see what it wants to do. To a different spot here, I wanted to show you how it handles um, sort of a narrow street with cars going around it, um, or cars stopped, I mean. And if you noticed, it actually slowed down for a speed bump there. 
Uh, here we have another speed bump coming up. It'll, it'll slow down, make sure it uh, goes over it safely. It goes around, um, around these cars on a narrow street. It actually slows down here because the conditions of this road is pretty bad. So um, there's sort of a bunch of potholes, so it'll actually stop, and, or, or not stop, but slow down. So it slows, that slows down for the speed bumps, but also uh, for, um, for the bad road conditions. We're coming up to a, see there's the slowdown for kind of a bad, bad road. So we're coming up to a stop sign here, and the way to handle stop sign is very interesting. You're supposed to stop on the line, right? So you see the stops coming, and there's the line. It will actually stop on the line or before the line, as the law says, and then it'll creep forward because it wants to make a left turn and it wants to make sure there's no oncoming traffic. So it creeps forward, uh, notices that there's no cars, that's safe to turn, and then does so. Uh, so it doesn't, um, it doesn't just go, it, it wants to make sure it's safe, but it also wants to follow the rules, and that's why it will stop before the line uh, and, and that, and then creep forward. Um, so making another left turn here, um, slowing down for another speed bump. So I hope, um, hope you like that quick uh, tour of Tesla Full Self-Driving version 12. If you have any questions, just let me know.